Hello, my name is Keshwani. S K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our English. We want to improve our vocabulary. Today is our day number fifty-six. Lesson number lesson number fifty six. I have three words today, and all of these three words are going to be very simple, very straightforward words, very straightforward words. If you happen to be a native speaker of the language, if you're not like myself then I had to learn these words and I want, to, I want to cover them because I want to learn them myself but, but for most most native speakers they can be very straightforward and very simple words as I, as I said and there are three of them the first one is ramshackle ram Ramshackle. What does it mean? A ramshackle building, a ram, ramshackle structure, a ramshackle edifice. We'll look it up later. I'm not sure about the spelling. We'll learn this word later. It just means structure or, or building or edifice, a grand building. We'll learn this word later. A ramshackle building is something that is falling apart. Oh, it's falling. It's falling apart. because of poor construction or poor maintenance either it was not built properly to begin with it wasn't put together properly. It was a, it's a ramshackle job, uh, a ramshackle structure, or it was built to get, uh, built properly. It was built nicely at one time in its grand days. It was very nice looking building, but over the years it has not been maintained properly. Nobody has done a very uh, proper maintenance of it. The the paint is peeling off. The structure is rotting. The wood is rotting. The doors are all looking horrible. Uh, the whole structure is just ramshackle. It's crumbling. It is run down. I should have looked it up ahead of time whether run down is hyphenated or if it's just one word. I spell it here with one word. I hope it's not hyphenated. And finally, it is Wrap it. Like I said, these are uh, like I've already said it twice or so three times. Uh, these are simple words for native speakers, but not for me. So uh, that's why I'm covering them. De Decrepit is the word, which just simply means run down, shoddy. Oh, there you go. Now, when I come up with these words like this, I have no idea how to spell this thing, as I've already told you many, many times. It just doesn't look nice. It's it's just falling apart. No, there's a W in it. There should be no W in it. It's a good thing I'm checking it. There is no W in Shari. There you go. Something... Something that is just not... Uh, just, just doesn't look right. It's falling apart. Something that is decrepit, something that is run down, something that is crumbling. 
and finally rickety. I want to learn this word properly, so I'm going to just put it here. Rickety. Rick, it, it, rickety. It just means, uh, let's put it here. Oh, well, rundown is hyphenated. Rundown should be hyphenated. means likely to break down or fall apart something that is feeble something something that is run down something that is infirm here's the there's another word Infirm means some, literally it means something that is not firm, something that is not solid, something that is not well made, something that is likely to fall apart, something that is likely to break down, is too feeble, is too weak, is too run down, rickety. Let's learn one more word. I need the room, so I need to erase something. I'm going to erase this part here. So again, the word was ramshackle, which means falling apart because of poor constructions or poor maintenance, something that is crumbling, something that is run down. Decrepit, shoddy, rickety. Let's learn one more word. Dilapidated. D. La, e, d, dilapidated. It means basically the same thing as rickety and, and ram shackle. If, if something dilapidated is something that is fallen into a state of disrepair. To fall something, to, to fall into, to fall into a state of disrepair simply means that it has not been maintained properly. Buildings need to be maintained. They need to be taken care of. Uh, otherwise, they're gonna, they're gonna be, uh, look rundown, shoddy, dilapidated. Something that is not well maintained. Something that is decaying. Something that is crumbling. And finally, run down. These are all the same words as I told you before. Sometimes you see this grand old building built uh, 50, 100, 200 years ago and they have fallen into a state of disrepair. Nobody takes care of them and they just, they look horrible. It's a sad, sad sight, a sorry sight. You drive around the city and you see all these grand old buildings all fallen into a state of disrepair. They look, they look dilapidated. That was it. That was, uh, that's all I have for today. Only three words. Ramshackle, dilapidated and rickety. I find these words interesting. I want to learn them. So there, there we are. I'll see you tomorrow on day number 57 to learn some more words. In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me, you can go to any of these website addresses that you see here and send me an email or you can simply go to kishwaniprep.com and send me an email from there if you wish to hire my services for personal private tutoring for GRE, GMAT, SAT or TOEFL. I do tutoring over the internet via Skype and of course over the phone and in person. Alright, thank you.